Welcome back. So, part two of the trim tab. Um, I did realize uh, before I started this video that that control horn you see there had two different spots on it. I thought that was for adjustability, but I guess one is for manual trim, one is for electric trim. So I needed to cut off the tab I didn't need. So I went ahead and did that. I'm not sure why I even primed that part since it's going to be exposed and presumably primed and painted later with the plane, but it got primed. So now it's trimmed to the to the right configuration, and now I am going along and installing the rivets in the bottom edge of that spar for the trim tab. Yesterday I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. Turns out the Longeron yoke with a couple of thicker flats was the way to go, and I just started at one end and kind of slid it up the channel, removing Clicos as I went, and that actually worked out really well. It's just as the spar got thicker because it's angled, I had to increase the size of the flat set I was using so that I wasn't pulling it down so far that I started uh, risking crushing the spar. Kind of tedious. Uh, this entire thing, riveting it, came out really nice, but it, the whole thing was tedious because there was a lot of fiddling around and changing yokes. In fact, I think at some point I used all three yokes in different configurations to uh, get this entire thing riveted. I also had to leave rivets out on those ends of those control horns because two of them go through into the little riblets that I made for the end there. So I had to save those for last so I could put them in at the end and set those. So now I'm just getting the inboard side of it all set up. Admiring my handiwork, checking the plans. So yeah, now it's time to start fitting up the hinge. Now, yesterday I had pre-marked and measured where that hinge was supposed to go on there, and then made my center line and clamped it and then drilled the holes to get it in place. And right now I'm looking at and finding out that I didn't exactly put it in the right spot. I should have moved it a little further over than what I did. I don't know how I kind of screwed that up, but in the end it's not a horrible mistake. The only thing it does is I won't be trimming off as much of the hinge as I originally was supposed to per the plans, which means I won't have near as much um, hinge rod left over to bend and safety wire in place, so I'll probably have to order a another hinge pin that's longer to put in there. Not the end of the world. Uh, in the end, honestly, I think it ends up looking a little bit nicer because the full span of the tab is filled with the hinge on the top. So now I'm just trying to get the hinge um, that goes against the elevator set so that it is mainly the trailing edge is perfectly aligned. So I'm using that flat part of the straight edge I have there to uh, get it aligned once I have it where I think I'm happy with it. I go ahead and mark all of those holes. Uh, the way I did it was I clamped the far end so that I still had some movement on the hinge and I could slide it around while I was doing that. If I had this to do over again, I would have done both hinges at the same time so I still had some play because I ended up pushing that really far into the elevator compared to how much is um, sticking out of the trim tab itself. So now just going along and clamping and drilling and clecoing. So now it's back on there. I've got the hinge pin in and I'm just checking to make sure it stayed where it was supposed to stay. And it was. This is the first time I flipped it over and I didn't realize that the bottom has as big of a gap in it as it does, but I guess it needs it. Since that side doesn't have the hinge on it, the uh, skin has to tuck under um, when it goes down on the skin of the elevator. But I guess it's the bottom and nobody's ever going to see it. 
it does have a little bit of a gap in it. So I just took that other hinge half over and cut it to the angle of the inboard edge of the elevator and cleaned it all up and rounded the edges. So now I'm just getting it clecoed back into place. Make sure everything looks good. Do any final adjustments before I'm ready to start setting rivets. And now there's some back and forth again on figuring out what the right setup was for this. So anybody that's doing this, I'll tell you now, if you want to use the squeezer, the way to do it is to use the three inch yoke and then a combination of different thicknesses of flat sets on both ends. And that'll allow you to just barely get in there and set the rivets without crushing the, uh, the loops for the hinge. Because not every one of the holes lines up in a gap that you can get in between. Some of them you have to go around the hinge. And it gets pretty close. It was a little nerve-wracking. I was afraid I was going to crush that hinge because it's, I mean, it's just aluminum, so it wouldn't take much. On a bonus side note, uh, I officially ordered the wings today. So deposit has been made, and uh, hopefully find out soon enough when I'll be expecting those. More to follow. Now I'm sticking the uh, riblet in that end there, and I'm going to go ahead and set the rivets that I can at least squeeze. The ones towards the trailing edge, I'll have to get those later on with the uh, rivet gun. It's a whole lot of work and fiddling with just fit up and everything on this whole trim tab. Uh, took, I don't know, I've probably got about five hours total into the trim tab, which seems ridiculous for such a small part, but like I said, there was a whole lot of fitting and figuring out how I was going to do things, not to mention I've been away from it for almost a month now from building anything, so I had to kind of go through the learning curve again. So now I'm just setting the rivets for the hinge half that's on the elevator, and while I'm there I also need to get the pulled rivets that I never got on the top side before. Those are just in the spar of the elevator. They're not part of the hinge or the trim tab. I just never put them in because I hadn't flipped it back over yet. Now I'm doing some tweaks to my little homemade bucking bar there to reach into tight spaces. And I'm going to use that to set those rivets in the very trailing edge of uh, the trim tab. Again, this wouldn't normally be a thing that anybody would have to do if you fold the tabs over and just pop rivet it like the plans call for. But I decided to make things difficult. Hopefully, it uh, works out well in the end. Now I'm just uh, going over the instructions and marking off all the steps that are done, so... I don't have to question what I did or didn't do later. One last check, some pictures for the Instagram, and the builder's log. Clean up, and that's it for this one. So next, I think we're on to uh, rolling edges. That'll be fun. See you all in the next one.